there are a lot of things you haven't seen yet. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the most fascinating and sometimes terrifying sights that exist in our world. From strange animals to mysterious phenomena, we'll be uncovering the things that were never meant for human eyes. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be amazed by the incredible sights you never knew existed. From the deepest hole on the planet to a secret military project, here are 20 things humans were never meant to see. Number 20. Deepest Hole on the Planet This is the Kola Superdeep Borehole. It's a hole that was drilled deep into the Earth's crust, located in the Kola Peninsula of Russia back in the 1970s. The project attempted to explore the Earth's crust and better understand its composition, but it ended up being much more than that. The Kola Superdeep Borehole is considered the deepest hole ever drilled, reaching a depth of about 7.9 miles. To put that into perspective, that's deeper than the height of Mount Everest. The project took almost 20 years to complete, with drilling starting in 1970 and ending in 1994. So what did the scientists discover when they drilled this deep? Well, they found some pretty mind-blowing stuff. For one, they discovered that the temperature at that depth was over 350 degrees Celsius, 660 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. And they also found that the rock formations at that depth were much denser and harder than they expected. But perhaps the most intriguing discovery was detecting microscopic life forms in the rock samples retrieved from the borehole. This discovery raised many questions about the origins of life on Earth and whether life forms could exist in extreme environments deep beneath the Earth's surface. Now, you might be wondering why the project stopped at 7.5 miles. Well, it turns out that drilling deeper was simply not possible due to the extreme temperatures and pressures at that depth, which made it impossible for the drilling equipment to function properly. We've come so far, but humans still have limitations. Wouldn't it be something if we were able to reach the core of our planet, though? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. First Computer Programmer this lady is none other than Ada Lovelace, and she's the first ever computer programmer in the world. Now, you might be thinking, wait, what? Women can be programmers too? And the answer is a resounding yes. In fact, Ada Lovelace is considered a pioneer in the field of computer science, despite having lived in the 19th century. Today, most STEM fields are dominated by men, and not many people know that a woman was one of the founders. Lovelace was born in London in 1815 and was the daughter of the famous poet Lord Byron. Despite her upbringing in the arts, Ada had a natural appetite for mathematics and science, a stark difference from her beloved father. She became fascinated with the idea of using machines to solve complex problems, and she was particularly interested in Charles Babbage's analytical engine. This theoretical machine was essentially a precursor to the modern computer. Now here's a fun fact. Ada Lovelace wasn't just a programmer, she was also a visionary. She realized that the analytical engine had the potential to do more than just crunch numbers. She saw that it could be programmed to perform tasks beyond mere calculations, tasks such as composing music or creating visual art, and she wrote extensively about this in her notes on the analytical engine, making her the world's first computer programmer. Now it's worth noting that Ada Lovelace's ideas were way ahead of her time. She was writing about computer programming more than a century before the first electronic computer was even built. But her vision and her passion for computing helped pave the way for generations of programmers to come. Thanks to Ada Lovelace and other pioneers, we get to enjoy the tech we have today. Number 18. Abandoned Nuclear Reactor This power plant was once a thriving hub of energy production for the city of Charleroi, Belgium. However, it was abandoned in the 1970s due to economic decline. Now, the plant stands as a hauntingly beautiful reminder of the past era. The power plant is a massive complex of buildings and machinery, with rusted turbines and towering chimneys that reach toward the sky. The entire site has a post-apocalyptic feel, with vegetation growing wild and broken windows letting in shafts of light. Walking through the abandoned power plant feels like stepping back in time. You can see the massive machines that once powered the city, the control rooms where workers monitored the output, and even the employee locker rooms where they would change into their work clothes. 
But what makes the Charleroi power plant so fascinating is the street art. Graffiti artists have turned the abandoned site into a canvas for their art, covering walls and machines with vivid colors and intricate designs. It's a beautiful contrast to the decay and rust of the machinery. It's hard not to feel a sense of wonder when exploring the Charleroi power plant. This place has a story to tell, and a history that's etched into every piece of machinery and every painted wall. Number 17. The Unbelievable Construction of the Empire State Building The Empire State Building, located in New York City, was constructed during the Great Depression to stimulate the economy. It took just 13 months to build, standing at 1,454 feet tall and weighing 57,000 tons. The steel frame was erected at a rate of four and a half floors per week by over 3,400 workers who worked on the site 24-7 in shifts. Designed by Shreve, Lamb & Harmon, the building has 102 floors, 73 elevators, and 6,500 windows. In the 1930s, safety standards were much different than today. Workers on the Empire State Building construction site often walked along narrow beams hundreds of feet above the ground without any protective gear. It's hard to imagine how anyone could work in those conditions, but they did it, and they did it with a smile on their face. I mean, just take a look at this. However, during the construction of the building, there were five fatalities during the entire construction process. There were also some famous people who visited the construction site, including King George VI and Queen Elizabeth of England. They were taken to the 86th floor of the building, which was the highest level at the time, and they marveled at the stunning views of New York City. Also, did you know that during the construction of the Empire State Building, a dirigible airship actually flew between the building's towers? It was the first and only time that such a feat was attempted, and it's a testament to the incredible height of the building. Number 16. Quantum Computers Quantum computers. You may have heard of them before, but do you really know what they are and how they work? At first glance, a quantum computer looks like some sort of alien tech, but what is it really? These machines can solve problems that traditional computers can't even begin to touch. They can process huge amounts of data in a fraction of the time, and even perform multiple calculations simultaneously. This makes them incredibly powerful tools for everything, from cryptography to weather forecasting, and even drug discovery. But what makes quantum computers so special? It all comes down to the way they process information. Traditional computers use bits, which are essentially switches that can be either on or off. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits, which can be both on and off at the same time, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. This means a quantum computer can perform multiple calculations simultaneously, which a traditional computer simply can't do. But it doesn't stop there. Qubits also have a property called entanglement which allows them to instantly communicate no matter how far apart they are. This means that a quantum computer can process data at lightning-fast speeds and can even factor huge numbers in a matter of seconds. It's hard to wrap your head around just how incredible the inner workings of a quantum computer are. But what's even more impressive is that scientists are just scratching the surface of what these machines are capable of. As they continue to develop new algorithms and refine their technology, the possibilities for quantum computing are truly limitless. It's an exciting time to be alive, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for quantum computing. But if you like reading sci-fi stories, there's also the possibility that advanced technology will be our downfall. Number 15. Teardrops Under the Microscope We've all shed tears at some point in our lives. But did you know that there are actually three different types of tears, each with its own unique properties? And when you observe them under a microscope, they look entirely different. Let's dive into the science behind tears and find out why. The first type is called basal, which are tears that are constantly present in our eyes to keep them lubricated and prevent dryness. The second type is reflex tears, triggered by things like chopping onions, getting something in your eye, or experiencing strong emotions like sadness or joy. The third type is emotional tears, which are shed in response to intense feelings of joy, sadness, or stress. Now let's examine why these tears look different under the microscope. When we observe basal tears, they appear clear and watery, with very little structure or debris. This is because they're mostly made up of water, salt, and a few other compounds that help keep our eyes moist. 
Reflex tears, on the other hand, are more complex. They contain higher levels of antibodies, enzymes, and other proteins that help fight off any potential irritants or infections that triggered the tears in the first place. This is why reflex tears appear slightly cloudy under the microscope. Emotional tears are the most complex of the three. When observed under a microscope, they contain not only water and salt, but also stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, as well as other proteins that aren't present in basal or reflex tears. This makes emotional tears look even cloudier and more opaque under the microscope. Over 100 tears were collected from the primary researcher on this project, volunteers, and even a newborn baby to determine if there were different types. Pretty cool, don't you think? Number 14. The Moving of the Indiana Bell Building We've heard a lot of engineering and architectural wonders recently, but did you know that people in the early 1900s accomplished an impressive feat? This is the Indiana Bell Building. It was constructed in 1907, and it was a historic landmark in Indianapolis. However, it stood in the way of progress when plans were made to expand a nearby hospital. Instead of demolishing the building, which would have been a loss to the city's history, engineers devised a bold plan to move the entire 11,000-ton structure 15 inches to the west, then rotate it 90 degrees to face a new direction. This would allow the hospital expansion to proceed while preserving the historic building. The process of moving the Indiana Bell Building was a delicate one. The building had to be jacked up and placed on a steel frame. After that, hydraulic jacks were used to lift the frame and build onto a set of specially designed dollies that could move the structure along a set path. Once the building was in motion, a team of engineers and workers monitored its progress every step of the way. They had to carefully maneuver the building around trees, power lines, and other obstacles in its path. And at one point, they had to stop the move altogether when they encountered unexpected obstacles under the building's foundation. Despite these challenges, the team persevered, and after four days of painstaking effort, the Indiana Bell Building was successfully relocated and rotated. The project was an incredible display of engineering skill and teamwork, allowing the historic building to remain a part of Indianapolis's skyline for years to come. Number 13. White Blood Cells Eating Virus under the microscope, white blood cells in action are a sight to behold. These tiny cells are responsible for defending our bodies against infection, and they do so by ingesting and destroying invading pathogens. This process is known as phagocytosis, and it's one of the most fascinating and important functions of our immune system. When a pathogen enters the body, it's detected by the white blood cells, which then surround it and engulf it with a process called phagocytosis. Once inside the cell, the pathogen is broken down by a combination of enzymes and toxic chemicals that the cell produces. This process not only eliminates the pathogen, but also helps to activate other parts of the immune system, such as T cells and B cells. This clip may seem violent, but our white blood cells are only doing this for our own safety. After all, our bodies protect us from infection by chasing and consuming pathogens and bacteria. So next time you're feeling under the weather, Take comfort in the fact that your white blood cells are hard at work, using phagocytosis to keep you healthy. Number 12. Photo of an Ant Up Close Ants are fascinating creatures that play a vital role in the ecosystem. After seeing this photo, you might have a different perspective on them. I mean, just take a look at this. This photo shows an ant's head and mandibles magnified to an extreme degree revealing a set of jagged teeth that look more suited for a horror movie monster than an insect. While it's certainly a shocking image, it's also a testament to the incredible diversity of the natural world. Ants are social insects that live in colonies of up to millions of individuals. They work together to gather food, care for their young, and defend the colony from threats. Some species, like the leafcutter ant, can carry objects that are many times their own body weight. Despite their small size, ants are powerful and resilient. They've been known to survive floods, droughts, and other natural disasters. Let's all be thankful that ants are the size they are. If they grew any larger, they could easily do a lot of damage with their durability, adaptability, and strength. Number 11. Man Living in Isolation Richard E. Byrd was a renowned explorer who made multiple trips to the continent of Antarctica. But his most extended stay was during the winter of 1934 when he spent four months alone in a tiny hut called Little America. 
Bird's goal during his stay was to study the effects of isolation and extreme weather on the human body and mind. He spent much of his time taking measurements and recording data, but he also had to contend with the isolation and loneliness of being the only human being for hundreds of miles. Living in Little America wasn't easy. The hut was small and cramped, with barely enough room for Bird and his supplies. Temperatures often dipped below negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and the constant darkness made it difficult to keep track of time. But despite these challenges, Bird remained focused on his work and maintained a positive attitude throughout his stay. One of the most fascinating aspects of Bird's stay in Antarctica was his relationship with the local wildlife. Despite being isolated from human contact, he was surrounded by a variety of animals, including penguins, seals, and albatrosses. Bird kept a detailed journal of his observations, which provided a unique insight into the behavior and habits of these creatures. Do you think you'd be able to do the same? Number 10. Chinese Lunar Hut The moon has long been a subject of fascination for humans, and the recent discovery of an unusual hut on its surface has only added to the intrigue. The Chinese lunar rover Yudu-2 captured images of the hut while exploring the moon's South Pole Aitken Basin in 2019. The discovery has sparked intense interest and speculation among scientists and the general public. The hut, which appears to be made of metallic material, is an unexpected sight on the barren lunar landscape. Its precise origin and purpose are unknown, but some experts have suggested that it could be a remnant of a past mission, or even an alien structure. Despite the many unanswered questions surrounding the hut, its discovery is a testament to the power of modern technology and humanity's ongoing quest for knowledge. Of course, it's important to approach the discovery of the hut with a healthy dose of skepticism and scientific rigor. While it's undoubtedly an intriguing find, it's important to maintain accuracy and precision and avoid jumping to conclusions or making unfounded assumptions about its origin or purpose. Number 9. Baby Owls Without Feathers Have you ever seen a baby owl without feathers? If you have, you might have noticed that they look a bit like aliens. Just take a look at this. Isn't it easy to mistake these hatchlings for aliens? Despite their strange appearance, owls are actually quite fascinating creatures. These creatures are nocturnal and have excellent night vision thanks to their large forward-facing eyes. Baby owls in particular are born with a unique adaptation known as an egg tooth, which helps them break out of their shell when they hatch. Now that's a pretty cool fun fact. As they grow and develop, baby owls start to develop feathers which help them regulate their body temperature and stay warm during chilly nights. They also begin to develop their distinctive horns, which are actually tufts of feathers that give them a distinct and regal appearance. Number 8. Hell's Entrance Have you ever heard of The Door to Hell? No, it's not a cheesy horror movie title. It's actually a massive crater located in the Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan. The Darvaza Gas Crater, as it's officially known, is one of the world's most bizarre and captivating natural wonders. The story behind the crater's creation is just as fascinating as its appearance. Back in 1971, a Soviet drilling rig was searching for natural gas reserves in the desert. However, the ground beneath the rig collapsed, creating a massive hole in the earth. Fearing the release of poisonous gas, the scientists decided to set the hole on fire, thinking that the gas would burn off in a few days. That was over 50 years ago, and the crater is still burning to this day. The fiery pit measures 69 meters in diameter and 30 meters deep, and the flames have been burning non-stop since 1971. The orange glow and heat emanating from the crater can be seen from miles away, making it an otherworldly sight to behold. Visitors to the crater described the experience as both eerie and awe-inspiring. The intense heat and roaring flames create an intense atmosphere and the sound of the fire crackling can be heard from quite a distance. The sulfuric smell is overpowering, and the ground surrounding the crater is barren, blackened, and lifeless. Number 7. Pitcher Plant This is the pitcher plant. Well, at least this is one of its species. These plants have been around for centuries, but they still manage to capture our attention with their unique physical characteristics and survival tactics. Pitcher plants are found all over the world, with the greatest diversity found in Southeast Asia and Australia. There are over 170 species of pitcher plants, each with its own unique adaptations to its environment. This pitcher is filled with a liquid that contains digestive enzymes, 
which helps the plant trap and digest insects and other small creatures that fall into it. It might be hard to believe, but this plant can easily digest an insect or a small rat. What's really interesting about these plants is that they have evolved to thrive in nutrient-poor environments such as bogs and swamps. They are true carnivores who consume insects to obtain the necessary nutrients to survive. The pitcher plant is also known for its ability to attract its prey. Some species have evolved intricate patterns and bright colors to attract insects to the pitcher. Other species have even evolved to produce nectar around the pitcher's rim to lure insects closer. Interestingly, some species of pitcher plants have also developed symbiotic relationships with insects. For example, the Campanatos schmitzi ant species lives exclusively within the hollows of the Nepenthes bicalcarata pitcher plant. The ant protects the plant from other insects, and in return, they receive a safe haven and access to the plant's nectar. Number 6. The Hands Resist Him The Hands Resist Him is a painting famous for its supposed haunted nature. The painting depicts a young boy standing beside a creepy doll, with his hands extended towards a glass door. In the background, many disembodied hands are reaching out toward the boy and the doll. The painting was created by artist Bill Stoneham in 1972 and has since gained notoriety for its eerie and unsettling qualities. The story behind the painting is what has really captured the imagination of people around the world. The painting was initially sold to a California art gallery in the 1970s, but was later discovered by a couple who had bought it at an auction in 2000. The couple claimed that strange things had started to happen in their home after they hung the painting on their wall. They reported that they often heard the sound of footsteps coming from the room where the painting was hung, and that they had even witnessed the figures in the painting moving and changing positions. Despite the many claims of paranormal activity associated with the painting, there is no concrete evidence that the artwork is truly haunted. Some skeptics have suggested that the eerie qualities of the painting are simply the result of clever marketing and artistic manipulation. Regardless of whether or not the painting is genuinely haunted, it's undeniable that the hands resist him has become a famous artwork in the occultism community. Number 5. Tumors with Teeth and Eyes Teratomas are tumors that contain different types of tissues, such as hair, teeth, bone, and even organs. They are fascinating yet creepy. Imagine seeing one of these tumors being extracted from someone's back, only for the lump of flesh to have eyes. When we think of tumors, we often picture a mass of cells growing uncontrollably. But teratomas are different. They're like a bag of surprises. They can contain different types of tissues, including those that are usually found in other parts of the body. Teratomas can occur in both males and females, and they can develop in different locations in the body, including ovaries, testes, and brain. But what makes teratomas even more interesting is the fact that they can sometimes develop into a fetus-like structure. This is because teratomas contain cells that are capable of morphing into various tissues, including those that make up an embryo. This can lead to the development of hair, teeth, bone, and even organs. In some cases, teratomas can even develop limbs, making them look like tiny monsters. Although teratomas are usually benign, which means they're not cancerous, they can still cause problems. If they grow too large, they can press on nearby organs and tissues, causing pain and discomfort. In some cases, they can even rupture, which can lead to life-threatening complications. The human body is really weird, huh? Number 4. Monkey Puzzle Tree The monkey puzzle tree, also known as Araucaria araucana, is a unique and peculiar tree that is native to Chile and Argentina. This fascinating species has a striking appearance, with a spiky pinecone-like shape and long sharp leaves that can be up to 4 inches long. The tree's distinctive look makes it a popular choice for landscaping and decoration. It's popular in Chile and Argentina, but it isn't as well recognized around the rest of the world. One of the most fascinating things about the monkey puzzle tree is its ancient history. This tree is actually a living fossil, with evidence dating back to the Jurassic period around 200 million years ago. This means that the tree has been around for longer than most modern plants and animals and has survived through a variety of environmental changes and mass extinctions. Unfortunately, the monkey puzzle tree has also been the subject of controversy in regard to conservation efforts. The tree's slow growth and limited distribution have made it vulnerable to over-harvesting and habitat destruction, and it's now considered a threatened species. 
Hopefully, the present generation will be able to preserve these trees for the years to come. Number 3. Elephant's Foot The nuclear disaster in Chernobyl is one of the most disastrous and catastrophic in the history of mankind. This strange shape is the elephant's foot, one of the most infamous objects in the aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. It's a large mass of highly radioactive material that was formed in the basement of the destroyed reactor, and it was named after its shape that resembled an elephant's foot. The elephant's foot is an eerie and terrifying reminder of the past disaster. The radioactive mass was first discovered in the basement of the Chernobyl reactor by a group of engineers tasked with assessing the damage to the reactor. When they first saw it, they were stunned by its size and the amount of radiation that it was emitting. They knew they had to act quickly to contain the radiation and prevent it from spreading further. The elephant's foot is made up of a highly radioactive mixture of melted reactor fuel, concrete, and other materials. It was formed when the reactor's fuel rods melted down, and the molten mass of radioactive material flowed through the reactor's containment vessel and into the basement. The elephant's foot is incredibly hot and highly radioactive, making it one of the most dangerous objects in the world. Over the years, scientists have studied the elephant's foot to learn more about the effects of radiation exposure on the human body. Number 2. Giant Weta The giant weta is a fascinating and unique insect that captures the imagination of both scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. With its enormous size, impressive strength, and intriguing behavior, the giant weta is a true marvel of the insect world. Giant weta belong to the family Anastostomatidae and are found exclusively in New Zealand. They're among the largest insects in the world, with some species growing up to 10 centimeters in length, and one female was found weighing 70 grams. That particular female was recorded as one of the heaviest insects in the world, making her heavier than a sparrow. The hefty insects have powerful legs and jaws that enable them to climb trees and chew through tough vegetation. Although their size may be mighty, giant weta tend to be less social and more passive than other weta. These insects can live for up to five years, which is an incredibly long lifespan for an insect. This extended lifespan is partly due to their slow metabolism, which allows them to conserve energy and live for long periods without food or water. One of the most famous species of giant weta is the Wetapunga, or God of Ugly Things, which is found on Little Barrier Island. The genus name Dinocrita means terrible grasshopper. Researchers have found that Wetapunga are particularly fond of carrots, and many who come to them often bring carrots with them as a treat for the insects. These impressive insects are an important part of the ecosystem, playing a role in seed dispersal and nutrient cycling. Now these insects might be horrifyingly huge, but giant weta is endangered due to habitat loss and the introduction of invasive species. However, conservation efforts are underway to protect these incredible insects and ensure their survival. And now it's time for today's topic. Now this is something humans were never meant to see. This video recently began circulating on the internet. The short clip shows a humanoid being with a monstrous face and no human eyes. It's downright disturbing to look at. While the video has been heavily debated and criticized, netizens can't stop talking about it and are trying to figure out what it could possibly be. One theory suggests that this creature could be an extraterrestrial being. The lack of human-like features such as eyes could indicate that this creature evolved on a completely different planet. Some have pointed out that the face appears to be similar to depictions of alien beings in popular culture. Another theory is that the creature could be a product of genetic experimentation. With the recent advancements in genetic engineering, it's possible that this creature was created in a laboratory. It's horrifying to think that people would cast aside their ethical boundaries and experiment on other living human beings. But with our advancements in science, it's not impossible. There are also those who believe that the video is simply a hoax. They argue that the creature's movements and appearance appear to be too unrealistic to be an actual living being. The lack of any additional footage or information about the creature also raises suspicions. Regardless of what it is, this video has certainly sparked a lot of interest and speculation. Do you have any theories as to what this creature could be? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Project 112 Project 112 was a series of secret military tests conducted by the United States government from 1962 to 1973. 
The purpose of the project was to test the vulnerability of U.S. ships and personnel to chemical and biological weapons in the event of a real attack. The project was carried out by the Department of Defense and involved over 6,000 military personnel. The tests were conducted in several locations around the world, including the United States, Canada, and the Pacific Ocean. The tests involved the use of a variety of chemical and biological agents, including nerve agents, bacteria, and viruses. In some cases, the agents were released into the air or water to simulate an attack, while in other cases, they were sprayed directly on military equipment or personnel. The participants in the project were not told about the nature of the tests they were involved in, and many were not given adequate protective gear. As a result, many of the personnel involved in the trials experienced negative health effects, including respiratory problems and neurological disorders. The project remained classified for many years, and it wasn't until the 1990s that the full extent of the tests were revealed to the public. In 2000, the Department of Defense admitted that some of the tests involved the use of live agents and apologized for the harm caused to the participants. While the project was controversial, it did provide valuable information about the potential effects of chemical and biological weapons on military personnel. It also helped to develop better protective gear and procedures for dealing with such attacks. Today, the use of chemicals and biological weapons is banned under international law, and the United States has renounced the use of such weapons. However, the legacy of Project 112 serves as a reminder of the dangers of such weapons and the importance of protecting military personnel from their effects. So which of these entries intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.